Climate Hustle 2, uh, it's got kind of an interesting name because it's not just Climate Hustle 2. It's, is it the rise of the climate monarchy? Yes, rise of the climate monarchy. And that is um, uh, a name of it is a little bit uh, controversial only if you're perhaps in a country that has a monarchy. We did get a little bit of flack for that from our English friends and even from uh, Vaclav Klaus, who's the former president of Czechoslovakia, who appears in this show. Um, but we wanted to uh, say we're not against monarchies, all of them necessarily. I mean, you know, you got Prince Charles. But look. It's not our system in America. We broke yep. from that. We weren't big on that. But I understand some countries are. But the climate monarchy, we can all be agreement that we should oppose. Who are the climate monarchs? They are the people uh, that are living high in the hog. We wanted to expose those in Hollywood, in the um, political culture, uh, those who are making a lot of money off of this particular issue, who tend to gain in power, and basically are hypocrites. You got, for example, uh, you know Arnold Schwarzenegger telling everybody to go and blow dry his your clothes on an outdoor clothesline uh, to save carbon emissions. Meanwhile, he's flying on a private jet up the coast to grab a cheeseburger, as was Harrison Ford. Uh, we have uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who's also showcased in this movie, a guy who, you know, is outspoken and telling everybody else how to live. Yet the guy goes on yachts by oil tycoons from the Middle East. And, uh, you know, has a carbon footprint where he flies tens of thousands of miles to collect environmental awards. Uh, this is the type of hypocrisy. What are they setting up? They're setting up basically an, an aristocracy where they, I can do certain things, but you can't. You take public transportation? <laughs> I don't. I take private jets and airplanes. You go ahead and, um, you know, lower your carbon footprint by uh, turning down your thermostat. I myself, like Al Gore, will use you know, in one month what the entire American uses for an entire year. So it's this sort of hypocrisy and the money that they get. And we want to blow the we want to blow the doors off that. You know, you might get some criticism about the word monarchy, but being someone who lives under a monarch here in Canada, because we're a member of the Commonwealth, um, I think it's exactly right. You have unelected people making decisions and influencing the levers of power to control your lives. I mean, we have a, a teenager named Greta Thunberg speaking at the United Nations and every politician in this country and in the majority of the Western world is tripping over themselves to listen to her and then implement her crazy ideas. Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, I will say that I uh, almost feel sorry for her. I mean, there's been so many yeah. things. Last year was her year of stardom. Uh, she still hasn't graduated high school, I think. Uh, seems like a sweet kid. Obviously has handlers on her that are writing uh, all that she's doing. And uh, so I don't want to pick on her too much, but certainly she's been uh, used as almost like a puppet in this whole uh, particular escapade. And it's tragic. It's terrible. Uh, and, and it's surprising to me people can't see through it. And yes, it is a monarchy in, in the classic sense of an aristocracy of people at the United Nations, where I know you've been, Sheila, and yes. you've seen it firsthand because yes. you and I have been there together. These are people that, uh, you know, like to sit down and opine how they can make uh, everything equal. And climate is not just about climate. Another thing we're going to showcase in this film, which, by the way, you can get a ticket to our world premiere at climatehustle2.com, um, is just also many other things tied into climate that you wouldn't think have anything to do with climate, you know, like uh, ecofeminism and, uh, you know, the education system and learning about the Green New Deal and uh, all the different human rights things. And you'd go, how do these things have anything to do with the weather or temperature? Uh, well, we look at that as well. We review the science and we have about 20 plus scientists in this movie that are very credentialed that will uh, discuss this as well. If you'd like to get access to my show as well as other great TV style shows too, like Ezra's Nightly Ezra Levant Show and David Menzies Friday Night Show Rebel Roundup, just go to rebelnews.com slash subscribe. That's rebelnews.com slash subscribe.